One of our stops is the little island of Patmos. It has a monastery on the hill we'll take you to in a moment. And a typical Greek seaside village. Sleepy little place, the island of Patmos. You could spend your time on the shore visit, just hanging out in town if you like, sit at a cafe, do a little shopping, take some pictures. The ship is here for about four hours at Patmos. There's some very characteristic local restaurants as well. A local gang checking out the beach. But the real attraction is the Monastery of St. John. This is a monastery fortress that's been here since the Middle Ages, and it's really quite a remarkable place. The church has a narthex with all of these painted scenes in the Byzantine style, and a very rich interior with more painted scenes. Back in the Middle Ages, most people were illiterate, and so to tell the stories of the Bible, it was done in pictures mosaics and frescoes. The building itself looks like it's right out of the 13th century. It's still an active monastery with several dozen monks who live and worship here. And when you visit you're free to walk around in the public places of the monastery. There's also a small museum with some old manuscripts. And next to it is the ancient village, the Kora of Patmos. Now, most tourists overlook this, but it's just as easy to walk a little bit through the village on your way back to catch the bus back to the boat. So let's take a little stroll, a little detour through this real charming old Kora, again with strictly pedestrian lanes. There's several thousand residents there. 